Hello, this is Pinpoint. In this video, we will talk about on how to convert decimal number into hexadecimal number. Decimal number system is also called base 10. Using digits from 0 to 9. While hexadecimal, if you notice, this is composed of two words, hexa and decimal. Hexa corresponds to 6 and decimal corresponds to 10. 6 plus 10 is equal to 16. So hexadecimal is a base 16 number system. Hexadecimal are the same as the decimal digits from 0 to 9. But then there are the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F in place of the decimal numbers 10 to 15. 10 corresponds to A, 11 corresponds to B, 12 corresponds to C, 13 corresponds to D, 14 corresponds to E, and 15 corresponds to letter F. Now for our conversion, let's say we have 398 decimal and convert it to hexa decimal. What we are going to do is divide 398 by 16. So 398 divided by 16 is equal to 24.875. Five. So we have 24 and the remainder. To get the remainder, you have to multiply the fractional part 0.875 by 16. So 0.875 multiplied by 16 is equal to 14. So we have 24 remainder 14. Then we take 24 and divide it by 16. So 24 divided by 16 is equal to 1.5. So we have 1 and the remainder. To get the remainder, multiply the fractional part 0.5 by 16. So 0.5 multiplied by 16 is equal to 8. So we have 1 remainder 8. Then we take 1 and divide it by 16. So 1 divided by 16, since 1 is less than 16, the answer is 0. And remainder is 1. To confirm this answer, we'll divide 1 by 16 and it will give us 0 0.0625. 0 goes here. And if we are going to multiply 0 0.0625 by 16, the answer is 1. 1. Then once you get a 0, this is when you stop. Then focus on the remainders, 14, 8, and 1. And convert them into hexadecimal numbers. 1 in decimal is equal to 1 in hexadecimal. 8 in decimal is equivalent to 8 in hexadecimal. And 14 in decimal corresponds to letter E in hexadecimal numbers. Then 1 is our MSB or the most significant bit and E is our LSB or the least significant bit. The way we are going to read this one is from the most significant bit to the least significant bit or from bottom to top. So the hex value of 398 decimal is 18E in base 16. So 18E base 16. For our second example, let's say we have 975 decimal and convert it to hexadecimal. So the first step is to divide 975 by 16. So 975 divided by 16 is equal to 60.9375. So we have 60 and the 
remainder. To get the remainder, we have to multiply 0 0.9375 by 16. So 0 0.9375 multiplied by 16 is equal to 15. So we have 60 remainder 15. Then we take 60 and divide it by 16. So 60 divided by 16 is equal to 3.75. So we have 3 and the remainder. To get the remainder, you have to multiply 0 0.75 by 16. So 0 0.75 multiplied by 16, the answer is 12. So we have 3 remainder 12. Then we take 3 and divide it by 16. Since 3 is less than 16, the answer is 0. And remainder 3. To confirm this answer, we will divide 3 by 16 and it will give us 0 0.1875. The 0 goes here and if you are going to multiply 0 0.1875 by 16, it will give us 3. So the remainder is 3. Then once you get a 0, this is when you stop. Then focus on the remainders and convert them into hexadecimal. 3 in decimal is also 3 in hex. 12 in decimal corresponds to C in hex. And 15 in decimal corresponds to letter F in hex. And again, this is our MSB. And this is our LSB. And the way we are going to read the answer is from the most significant bit to the least significant bit or from bottom to top. So the hex equivalent of 975 decimal is 3CF. So we have here 3CF base 16. And for our third example, we can also convert decimal to hex using long division method. Let's convert to 6 to 1 decimal into hex. So we're going to divide 2, 6 to 1 by 16 using our long division method 2, 6 to 1 divided by 16. 26 divided by 16 is equal to 1. 1 times 16 is equal to 16. 26 minus 16 is equal to 10. Then bring down 2. This will become 102. 102 divided by 16 is equal to 6. 6 times 16 is equal to 96. 102 minus 96 is equal to 6 bring down 1. So 61 divided by 16 is equal to 3. 3 times 16 is equal to 48. And 61 minus 48 is equal to 13. So the answer is 163 remainder 13. Then we take 163 and divide it by 16. Using our long division method, we have 163 divided by 16. So 16 divided by 16 is 1. 1 multiplied by 16 is 16. 16 minus 16 is 0, bring down 3. 3 divided by 16 is 0. 0 multiplied by 16 is 0. And 3 minus 0 is equal to 3. So the answer is 10 remainder 3. Then we take 10 and divide it by 16. So using our long division method, 10 divided by 16 is equal to 0. 0 times 16 is 0. 10 minus 0 is equal to 10. So the answer is 0 remainder 10.
Then, once you get to zero, it is when you stop. Then again, focus on the remainders and convert it to hexadecimal numbers. Ten in decimal is equivalent to letter A in hex. Three in decimal is also three in hex. And 13 in decimal is equivalent to letter D in hexadecimal. Then, read the answer from most significant bit to least significant bit or from bottom to top. So, the hex equivalent of 2621 is A3D. So, we have a 3 D base 16. So that's how you convert decimal numbers into hexadecimal numbers. You simply need to divide the decimal numbers by 16 and get all the remainders and convert them into hexadecimal. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and tap the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video.